Hello and welcome to Solution Coven. In this video, we'll move ahead with the data tables and the buttons like PDF. In the last video, we saw about the copy button, and in this video, we will see about all the different types of buttons like PDF and download Excel or CSV. Okay, so first of all, for including a PDF button we don't need to include any of the extra script by the way this is the video uh, this is the last video I uploaded and this is uh, this video the current video which I'm making is an extension of it so if you have not watched my previous video please I recommend you to watch that because this video is based on the first one so to include a PDF you just write here PDF in the button array okay you just specify that I want a PDF button and the PDF button is ready for you now if you click on PDF you have 57 rows and it will ask you where you wanna store the buttons right so I'll go to my HD docs and data table and in that I have made a folder for results and I'll just store it by my data table result okay and I'll just save it once I did it once I saved it I can go to my results folder and I see that the results are stored and you can see that how powerful it is all the data which was present in our data table is now in uh, PDF right so this is the power of data table and okay and also you can filter the data anytime you want now suppose you want the result for Tokyo and you want to save it as PDF so you will just save it and you will see the magic that all the data has been filtered and stored properly so you can see that the results of Tokyo you can mail it to anyone if you want you, you have just filtered and your job is done so this is how you include a PDF button and in the similar fashion you can add CSV button as well as Excel button so this will look like this to store the data in the CSV format you just go there and store it in CSV no need to load any of the extra script and you can see that your data has been loaded successfully in your CSV format okay here also you can perform filtration if you want Tokyo and you can just click on CSV CSV for Tokyo right and you can just save it so here you will see that the Tokyo CSV has been present yeah in the similar fashion if you want to store in, in the Excel for some reasons you can do that and the result would be present in Excel and this is a proper result so I hope this video was helpful this may help you in any of your assignments and please subscribe to my channel more videos are coming thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubts thank you